Hey guys, Nick Horton, the Iron Samurai, and T-Bone, Tamara Reynolds, uh, here, otherwise known as the Beautiful Manatee, and uh, we are coming at you live again from the outdoors, and by the outdoors we mean our garage with the door open, sitting in chairs, kind of slightly outside the garage, so that it almost feels like we're in nature, which we have no interest in. It's true. Yeah. Nature is scary. And also, uh, my personal belief has always been this, that if you leave nature alone, it's going to do better. So people who want to save the environment, my personal philosophy is stay away from it, right? <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> I don't go trampling your neighborhood livestock, and you don't go trampling in mine. I think we're good. So that has nothing to do with what we're about to do. We're about to uh, do a review some pudding. of some pudding. That's right. Uh, protein pudding, baby. It is the Power Packs, or Pack, I thought that was a K, uh, X, but it's K. Power Pack Pudding. A high protein pudding, sugar free, low carb, gluten free, <laughs> lactose free. The dog is excited about <laughs> the pudding. Ready for the pudding. Ready for it. Um, I'm gonna tell you right now, a double exciting feature is that it doesn't just have one top, it's got two. So you need you to pop top. Yeah, you gotta pop this top in order to eat this protein. So that makes you feel like, you know, it must be amazing under the hood. Hey, I don't know. Come here. I'll come try some pudding. Yeah, if you can try to shut the dog up. So I was really excited about this stuff because yeah. um, we went to the vitamin shop and uh, once again, I will say I have supplement ADD. Yes, she does. And I was like, I wanted to buy some, I wanted to buy some already made protein shakes. It's hey, true. come here. So I wanted the ones we could just throw in the refrigerator at the gym, already made. That was my idea. And then when we got there, the ones that I knew I liked, mm -hmm. they didn't sell as like a case. They only sold them individually. Yeah. But they had, the, oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, they are yeah. named, oh yeah. Protein bars. Yes. Which taste, like by the box for they really taste cheap. Amazing. Those are delicious. Yeah, we love them. And so I was like, you know what? I'm going to forget the protein shake. I'm going to get the oh yeah bars. Mm -hmm. And then next to the oh yeah bars was this. And I'm like, there's no way this can be good. Mm -mm. But what if? Protein pudding is the best thing in protein that I've never had. Yeah. So, of course, I had to try it. You gotta try it. Absolutely. We're willing to try just about any supplement on the market that is... Legal. Legal. <laughs> and not basically a knockoff steroid. Because, no. by the way, yeah, you do need to know this. It's not true to say that all steroids are illegal. It's just true to say that the ones that they figured out are steroids are illegal. So, there are a bunch of, like, really scary shit on the market right now. And you should avoid those because they're pretty much just side effects in pill form. With no, yeah, no results from actual steroids, just the side effects. Pretty awesome, right? So we will not try every supplement on the market because some of them are crap. But we will try the sort of uh, what we might call the reasonable supplements on the market. And some of them are in a can, <laughs> if you want to call that reasonable, uh, in a pudding. So first of all, this... Because pudding, of course, obviously should come in a can, it's right? It's not really the right <laughs> When did that happen? It's hard to see because it's black and white. So yeah, we're here in black and white, so this is totally useless. But it's not useless. really the right color. It doesn't look like super dark, chocolatey, delicious pudding. No, it looks more like a grayish brown. <laughs> so actually, black and white is kind of accurate because that's closer to its real color. It's so supposed to look brown. It looks more gray. We're just going to try this. Yeah. Okay. Consistency. I already knew what it was going to taste like because I've had it. So. Consistency, I would say, is actually relatively yes, spot on. it's pudding consistency. Tastes like pudding. It's a little grainy. No. A little great. grainy from the protein powder or something, but it's decent pudding consistency. Now, here's the downside. It tastes like shit. <laughs> it's not good. It's horrible. This is really bad. There's very little chocolate flavor. Mm -hmm. And whatever chocolate flavor there is, is overpowered by this horrible taste that he said is what's in this. Uh, I think it tastes metallic or something. Yeah, but what's the thing? Oh, like Acetophelm K, I think, is what it is. Oh, so we should read the nutrition facts, actually. Acetyl... I don't know how to say that. Acetyl fame. I don't know. Okay? I don't care how you nutrition say it. Nutrition facts. I'm like so shit. blind as it is and it's dark, so I really can't see. But one, Every time one can has 190 calories, 40 calories in fat. Yep. Um, it has uh, potassium... And sodium and all that sort of stuff. It has mm -hmm. nine grams of carbs, zero grams of sugar, which right there tells you it's not going to be good. Yeah, it's bad. And then 30 grams of protein. So that's why, you know, 30 grams of protein is not so bad if right. it was pudding and delicious. Okay, and then the ingredients has like that thing. Yeah. 
whatever. Yeah, it's got random crap in it. Um, I it tend to find that gross. anything with that particular sweetener in it tastes like it's metal and. It, and it's in a can. I remember we so we okay. just reviewed this. <laughs> that doesn't help. <laughs> reviewed this canned salmon for our uh, wine and weightlifting review, and that's Nick's theory: is that all fish in a can just tastes like the can. So I think all meat in a can. I think even like canned chicken tastes a little bit like tuna. So this kind of tastes like <laughs> the can. Yeah, it tastes like can, uh, which is all kinds of awesome. So the consistency of this is spot well, not spot on, but it's pretty good. I'd say like 80, 90 percent. Tastes like pudding? It says oh. delicious. No. Mm -mm. All natural chocolate flavor. No. Because no. I tend to not eat chocolate that tastes like barbell. And this kind of tastes <laughs> this like This tastes barbell. like barbell. And not in a good way. <laughs> uh, if you haven't seen our wine and weather review yet, that we talk about the yeah, that one Willamette that Valley like Pinot Noir. Uh, that one did have like a hint of barbell and sweet tarts, and it was really good. I have no problem with barbell taste, per se. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that I don't want it in my pudding. That's all I'm saying. Don't put barbell in my pudding, baby. So I, I am going back to this thing. Why is pudding in a can? <laughs> when did that happen? I mean, when was this like a thing? Because last time I had pudding, it didn't come in a can. I mean, I'm not saying you have to have homemade pudding. But if I'm not going to eat homemade pudding, it doesn't come in a fucking can. So why did they have it like so in wait, a I normal it says. It says yogurt looking container? Protein packed pudding is a delicious, ready to eat, high protein pudding that makes eating quality protein both easy and enjoyable. <laughs> <laughs> it's neither. I have two tops to open. That's not easy. That's hard. It's easy because it's so dark. Um, it's a tasty, low carb treat that nourishes your muscles for a fit and trim body. Rich and creamy. Mm. No, it's not creamy. Protein packed pudding provides 30 grams of high quality protein with no added sugar and only 9 grams of carbs. I'm going to say something else. I don't buy into this crap that no added sugar is somehow it's good. It's not. It's disgusting. Sometimes you want to add sugar so you don't have to add in a bunch of fake sugar. Because fake sugar sometimes tastes like shit. I'm not talking about health here because Lord knows Tamara and I don't care about health. <laughs> we do, however, care about lifting really heavy stuff and that does require more protein. And sometimes it's easier to get that protein through protein shakes and shit. But I have no problem adding a little sugar in there because it tastes good. And it helps bring the protein down my belly. You know, a spoonful of sugar makes the medicine go down. Okay, here's the when did this go away? This is the funniest thing. Okay, skip. Well, there's two funny things about this. Two. Skip the meal and go straight to dessert. Okay? <laughs> okay. So the first funny thing is it's telling you to skip the meal and go straight to the dessert. And then right after it says... Do not use as meal replacement. <laughs> <laughs> so don't actually do that. <laughs> do not use meal replacement. <laughs> That's called contradiction. Um, the other funny part of that, that is like every meal I make tastes way better than this. It so doesn't even matter why? what it is. A bowl of cereal. Yes. Anyway. Like that steak that I made last night. Why would I skip that and eat this? Now that was phenomenal steak, by the way. She's very good at making meat. Or even the burger. Yeah. This is gross. <laughs> Why would I skip the steak? So we're not skipping steak. And just eat this. No, no, we're not. For this. If I'm Although going we to are actually dessert, eating it. I don't even notice this yet, but we have not stopped. We have eating to. It. We have to because yeah. I paid for it and it's 30 grams of protein. Mm -hmm. This is why so. I wanted to do this review tonight because we have two cans of this left in our refrigerator and I just wanted them out of my refrigerator. Yeah. This so is a way to force us to eat it. We're going to eat it on film. And also, gluten free. I don't know. No. Like people, I was so all worried I was going to get gluten in my protein I'm blood. genuinely sorry for the people with celiac. The rest of you morons who are like, I'm gluten free. Well, you're just dumb. <laughs> I mean, gluten makes things delicious. Tamara is a very diplomatic sort of person. <laughs> <laughs> like when I said something about the one night, like how delicious bread was or something like that. I'm like, I was like, well, you should read Wheat Belly by whoever. Uh huh. I don't know. Someone famous, I don't know, because I'm not, I'm never going to read it. I like my belly and I like bread. <laughs> I, whatever wheat belly is, I don't have it. You have a manatee belly. No, I have a manatee belly. Mm -hmm. true. So, um, yeah. yeah. All of you people, which is a lot of people in Asheville who don't lift weights. Mm hmm Who are not watching they, our video, then, they, basically. Yeah, they all think they need to be gluten-free for some reason. Mm -hmm. Gluten-free, lactose-free. That is a thing. Sugar-free. I don't know. I would you like to be protein pudding-free. I'm going to tell on. you what. 
You're going to be gluten free. You're going to get hit by a car and die. It's not going to matter. That's it. She's philosophizing tonight. I am. Yeah, watch out. You're going to go in deep. But we're not done yet. This is not the only thing we're going to review. No, because then I thought we were going to review something that's potentially delicious. Mm -hmm. okay, I saw this today. This is uh, it's actually fat for you. Mm. Um, so this is Greek yogurt. Hallelujah. See? Ooh. Mm -hmm. um, the phage. Is that how you actually say it? Or is it supposed to be a Greek word that I don't know how to pronounce? I have no idea. Well, anyway. Um, it's all natural, non-fat Greek strain yogurt. And I still can't figure out why does Greek yogurt always have to be non-fat? They actually make a 2% version. Okay. But like, I like fat. I love fat. I want added fat. So, but I actually, like Greek yogurt tastes good. How did they make non-fat yogurt taste good? That is kind of miraculous. I don't know. It's true. But anyway. Thank you, Greek people. Yes. <laughs> making delicious If this yogurt. is even remote. I mean, it could be like french fries, right? Like, I don't know. Maybe the people in Greece are going, those stupid Americans and their quote-unquote Greek yogurt. Yeah. So this know. is um, the the phage total zero percent with apple cinnamon raisins. Apple cinnamon raisins. So the reason that I like it these ones is see, there's like it's a two sided thing. This side has the yogurt, yep. and this side has whatever else the thing is. Okay. It's called so science, baby. Usually we get the ones that have honey on this side. It's like mm -hmm. Greek yogurt with honey, and then I think it's another brand. I don't think it's this brand because there's okay. a couple brands, but one of the brands has these caramelized almonds. So it's like yogurt on one side, and then the caramelized almonds on that side. Um, so the caramelized almonds are delicious. Yes. But I was grocery shopping at Target today, and uh, everyone should grocery shop. Okay. By the way, <laughs> this is this is an important side note. I've been shopping at Target a long time, like most of us have, because Target is a brilliant place. They have very good marketing, by the way, and I like their uh, overall branding. Very he likes cool. the red. I do. I think that the way that they use the red and white together is very appealing to me. And I'm not even like a guy who's all that into red. For some reason, they do it right. So uh, I like them for that reason. I had no idea in all these years that Target, there were Targets out there where you could buy groceries. Super Target. Super Target! Yeah. It's like... The X-Men of Targets. Well, this one didn't use, used to be like that. They redid it and turned it into like more. This is brilliant to me. Awesome. So yeah, I had to go to Target anyway. And uh, when you're grocery shopping and shopping with children, it's helpful to go as few places as possible. Yeah. So um, this is why I didn't get the caramelized almond one because Target didn't sell. But the first thing I want to say is this only has one top. Yes, yeah, so unlike, unlike the, pudding, the pudding, there's one top. Yeah, we have one, not two. The second thing is, it's not in a can. Not in a can. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What's so wrong with plastic? Then the color looks like something I would expect. The yogurt is white. <laughs> and right. then this looks like apple cinnamon something. Yeah, the, the proper color. Yeah. So we're going to okay, try so this. so we like that. So we're going to take, is this is, look, ooh, there's apple cinnamon and there's a raisin right there. And then mm. you take it and have the yogurt together. Okay, so she you dipped into we're one. Gonna, we are okay. going to have this at the same time. I'm going to show you how this works. Here we go. Because, you know, obviously you're never going to be able to figure this out without our help. <laughs> no possible way on earth. Uh, so, now, okay. So one, there we go. Two, three, go. Oh, hell yeah. That's really good. That's significantly better. So it's by like the way. Apple pie with yogurt. It says 13 grams of protein if you eat the whole thing. Yeah. So really, I could just eat two of these. It's the same, roughly, amount of protein as that can of crap. And uh, it would actually taste good. Give me that. How many calories are in our thing protein? Wow. Protein says 190 calories. This one is 120 calories. So you eat two of these, that's not that far off from 190 calories, right? It's like 240 calories. Pretty close. Roughly the same amount of protein. And uh, it actually tastes like food. <laughs> it's delicious. Yeah. So uh, I think if I'm going to eat something out of a little container, I'm going to choose yogurt. Thank you very much. Of some kind. And it has fun. sugar in it, so that's it good. It tastes good. And I love sugar. Sugar's a wonderful thing. And it doesn't say it's gluten-free, and it doesn't say it's lactose-free. It doesn't say it's... It unfortunately, does say fat-free. That I'm not... Well, yeah, that's fine. We're going to have to we add We already talked about that. Today. Yeah, we can add in some lard or something. <laughs> to make my grandmother happy. Yeah, this is good. This is good. That's good. Mm-hmm. I like it a lot. So, see, now I had all this protein. Mm-hmm. And I can go ahead and have my fake steroids. That's true. You can. More supplements. I'm going to be super strong. 
So, final review. Don't buy that. Power pack pudding. If you're going to buy it, do it the way a hipster would do something and do it ironically. Only ironically. Because I, I wanted so badly for this to be good. I really did. <laughs> it's chocolate pudding. It sounds like a great idea. It really does. And I, I have to at least give them some credit for trying. But I'm going to call this a fail right here. Uh, it does not in even the slightest way taste like real pudding. <laughs> It does, however, come in a can, so <laughs> if you're really into canned food, maybe you do want this, actually. It might last on a shelf for like a thousand years. That yeah. actually may be true. So there is, I guess, that. But when it comes to Greek yogurt with like a little extra sidecar of apple cinnamon goodness, that's an absolute win. Greek yogurt is awesome of really any kind. I mean, I, almost every Greek yogurt I have is good. Uh, I do like Greek yogurt. It's pretty awesome. Pretty high in protein. It's higher in protein than normal yogurt. Maybe they're filling up know, what the like fat magic. was. I don't know what's going on. We should go on the internet and Ooh, find out learn about stuff. Greek yogurt. Maybe there's another couple out there that is like the Greek. yeah they're like the <laughs> Greek yogurt couple, and they just talk about yogurt all day long, the way that we <gasps> supposedly talk about weightlifting. We didn't talk about weightlifting <laughs> at all in this. <laughs> And All they will this learn. This is going to make me super strong. They're going to have like an hour so long video where they do more. nothing but talk about random crap. But in in that hour, there will be five minutes of useful information that actually does discuss Greek yogurt in a way that is extremely important. And they'll probably be speaking Greek too. Ooh, that's good. Yeah, because we can definitely speak Greek. <laughs> yeah, we can. All right. So uh, yet another awesome review of uh, random stuff that yeah. you may not ever even bother exactly. buying. But <laughs> it gave us an excuse to eat crap out of the fridge. So there you go. Thank you, YouTube. All right. Iron Samurai and T-Bone out.